Hi everybody, Marsha Blackburn, just wanting to cover a couple of things as we finish up this year. As we roll into the end of this Congress, we are passing the National Defense Authorization Act. This is the act that funds our U.S. military, a lot of our weapons program programs, much of the testing that you see done in the state and also at Oak Ridge with the Department of Energy and so much of that innovation taking place there. So pleased to finally get that across the finish line for completion. In addition to this, passing my legislation, putting it in that NDAA that protects our men and women from being fired because they do not get the COVID shot. It rescinds the Department of Defense COVID mandate. And I, I have to tell you, not any of our men and women in uniform should ever lose their job and be fired because they refuse to take the shot. And this will protect our National Guardsmen, our Army, our Marines, our Navy, uh, our airmen, so we were pleased to make that happen. We also have uh, spent some time at our Consumer Protection Subcommittee. Back in August, Reese's Law was signed into law. Now, this came about because a child lost their life from ingesting one of these tiny little button batteries that you see in children's toys. and. This is now in effect. Uh, children's toy manufacturers are going to have to put some childproof locks and therefore protect our children. Also, Senator Blumenthal and I, who lead consumer protection, we have the Kids Online Safety Act. We're pushing to get that across the finish line. This would put some protections in place on um, in the virtual space and it would give parents the tools they need to help keep their kids safe and require the social media platforms to exercise some transparency, make data sets available. We think it's imperative to keep our children safe online. We also have spent a good bit of time this year as we have worked on making certain that Tennesseans are protected, that the workplace is safe and that people can be prosperous. There is bipartisan legislation that just got signed into law. It's called the Speak Out Act. And I helped lead this to a successful conclusion. This will prohibit these non-disclosure agreements that many times get signed when you are going into a job from applying to uh, silencing women when they want to have their day in court because of sexual assault or harassment. So this is a way to keep bad actors out of the workplace and to make certain that people are safe. We've got a busy end of the year. We know that everyone is going to take time to pause and have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, and of course, a safe and prosperous New Year.